Am oh, I turning God. into this guy? Am I that guy? It's kind of Karen. Well, we got a guest. How do I do to introduce him? Yeah, you want to. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Stroop is in the house. Going through an intersection and losing your groceries on a scooter is a tough bounce back. Okay. There's a guy that had a very loud exhaust on his motorcycle. I go, hey, no, it's too much. You have to be blind for a day. You know, in those situations, you want to make eye contact. Every time I looked away, it felt like I was telling you I didn't care a little bit. Listen to what happened to mm -hmm. us. There's a, a blind gentleman <laughs> who is stuck on a chair but i'm thinking you don't know how to like get it in d yeah but you know how. To and that's very insulting <laughs> yeah. i mean tell him a story about when uh, the uber that you go where are you so he says hey man i'm juicing up this thing doesn't run off of fairy dust the comedians are like the prophets oh it's a gangway oh now it's like a TikTok dance dude <laughs> <laughs> must be nice <laughs>
that's just true. The math on that checks out every time. For where we're at, I mean, people think rib shacks are made up. No, rib shacks are real. Rib shack, this restaurant is made up, but if yeah. it's it doesn't have a name. If for sure. It's the rib and yeah. I and the tables were like old very old carpet mm -hmm. and like people that that in that neighborhood, it was a very touristy neighborhood, but it, was. it wasn't on the main, it was like around. It was. Like you don't find this place unless some, and I, we just happened to stumble upon it. We did. But yeah. the, okay, so we ate everything. It was place is unbelievable, by the way. I wish we could shout it out. I, I was- You remember? Yeah, uh, I don't remember big, what it's big River Grill, okay. I believe is what it's called. I'm not positive. That, yeah, though. Alec, listen to, listen to what happened to mm -hmm. us. Do you, are you- uh, Okay. <laughs> Me and John are in a very serious conversation. We, we were in o over our ham sandwiches. We'd gone down a rabbit hole. It and was serious. Yeah, yeah. And so over John's right shoulder, uh, I see a blind, I'm a, a blind gentleman <laughs> pinned against another man's chair. This is real. Dude. Okay. And I'm trying to listen to John pour his heart out to me. And you know, in those situations, you want to make eye contact. Every time I looked away, it felt like I was telling you I didn't care a little bit. Yep. <laughs> but behind you was a blind man stuck to a chair and he's, he's tapping the man's chair. And he's going, are like you in line? Like it was like a like a church chair where it had yeah. two like. Uh... And there's a man sitting in it at a table. It's a single table with his uh, his significant other across from him. And the blind man stuck at behind the table him. behind him. Yep. And he's tapping his chair. And he's a he's with a woman at the table. Yep, yep, yeah. Tapping the man's chair, and he's going, "Are you in line?" Well, he asks that question three or four times. Are you in line? Are you in line? Yeah. The man that he's the man that's sitting in the chair, getting his chair tapped on by the blind, is not responding. He's actually sitting like this. And he's just looking, and I'm not, coming unglued. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm like, just, just <laughs> tell the man that you're not in line. Yeah, just yeah. Just talk to him. Just say. And yeah. about this time, I've drawn enough attention to it that John turns around. No, John, you go, I got to stop you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Go, yeah. I, gotta, I was, I was like crying. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, um, you know, my dad didn't come to my softball games when I was. I didn't make that. I just made that up. My dad never came to my games when I was. And you're like, hey, John. I I'm, I want to give you this, but I w there's a situation. Yeah, and before I could yeah. really, fit, I was like, "There's a, a blind gentleman who is <laughs> stuck on a chair," and John whips his head around, and John gets up immediately. He does. Yeah, I don't. I don't because uh, there's no way you believed that this is what was going. No, on. No, I get up to solve it. Okay, I go. Well, Let's you ever this. been like you ever been in like a situation where like in public when you're like at, at a bar and you go, I, "I have to intervene here." Yeah, yeah. Like absolutely. what? Yeah. You have an example. Um, yeah, like miscommunications between like the bartender and somebody. Hey, like, he just I gotta go. To... Yeah, yeah. I I see. I need to be like involved. Mm -hmm. Like I was, we were at uh, uh, we were at. I was at, at, on my phone the other day, and I was in the Gulch, and there was a guy. You'll laugh at this. There was a guy that had a very loud exhaust on his motorcycle, very loud, and playing music, very loud. And I like, I'm just, I go, hey. <laughs> yeah, I did. I go, hey, no, no, it's too much. Like it's too much. Like a 106 year old man. Yeah. And Lydia was <laughs> like, hey, d I was on the phone with her and she goes, don't, don't just let him. I go, no, <laughs> dude, there's people here. There's, you can't bring your insecurity or need for attention into me. Yeah. Like I'm, uh, but what do you do? Do you, it, uh, before we get back to the story, do you let stuff go like that? Cause you used to work at a bar and stuff. I mean, uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to size up that guy on the motorcycle before I holler <laughs> at him. <laughs> like you're pretty brazen to just, just turn around. I go, hey, this guy's no. got hell's angels on his yeah. neck. And you're like, that's it. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm going to look at him. For, I'm, if I think he's like an uncle or a papa and he's got like sandals on, I'm going to step out and go, hey, Bubba, we're going to draw the line. Yeah, but worse. if he's got enough neck tattoos, I'm going to let him listen to the Charlie Daniels got, band yeah, as loud as he wants. I got a Vectivas and hair gel. And he's like, oh, I'm, I can't listen to this. Yeah. You know what? You're yeah. good. I thought uh, you're good. Yeah. On the motorcycle yeah, yeah. is a lot different than being inside a vehicle too. Because he's only going to do a quick leg swing and he's next to you now. Yeah, exactly. He just... And I'm I've always here. hated up? to uh, pick on somebody your own size. Yeah. Never. Look how big I am. You, you size it up I'm first. Going, we're, I want you smaller. Yeah. I just don't like, like we were, I was telling somebody this story. We were down on, on Broadway on the, on the walking bridge. Yeah. yeah. And there was a guy down below there. I was with my two buddies and his kids. And there was a guy down there that was sitting by down by the water and he was naked all the way naked. And we couldn't see, it was kind of a long way away. And we, and the kids, we kind of just went the other way and we kind of just walked and we went on our way. And then the kids, 
they got in the uh, they got in the Uber and they all went to the airport. They had to go home, and I go, I'm gonna go back down there. What's going on? And I went back down there, and the guy and I, I don't know if you guys are gonna be with with me or not. I called the cops. You can't do that. I uh, I have questions. I mean, dude, everybody's not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go to yourself. Oh, the camera's not on you today. Dude. It was yeah. just on me. Oh yeah, I got one. All right, what was he homeless? I that doesn't matter. I believe so. Okay, but like it, like I, like one time, this is too much information. But I, uh, I lived with a family, and there was a domestic issue mm -hmm. between the the. I was uh, staying at their. I was living with them. I was twenty five. Like host, host family type. They having a. Let's just say they were having a domestic issue. Yeah. It, physically, and I go, all right. If I call the cops, uh, it's going to be a whole thing. Like he might lose his job. He was oh, in the no. yeah. He's going to do that. And, and I go, well, that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. He, you can't do that. Well, no, I mean, can't. dude, why? Well, I always well, I, do I'm this, just, and then it, no one's ever on my team. But no, I, mean, I, I, I think <laughs> in the in the last minute and a half, you yelled at a guy to turn down his music, and you called the cop on a naked person. No. All right, well, so you would just let the naked guy go? I would, I would, would. unless he was like sprinting through a crowded group of people, like a crowd, or like being uh, like being just a, a disturbance. Uh, yeah, being obscene. But if it, I, I would get arrested if it was me. Yeah. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the story of like the old lady that said that the guy next door walked around his house naked all the time. And when she called the cops, they came over and they said, we can't even see your neighbor. And yeah. she said, well, you got to stand on this stool and get on the <laughs> counter and then you can see the neighbor perfectly fine. <laughs> you know, it's like sometimes you got to mind your own You're business. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I mean, you got to mind your business a little I bit. I just go back. Yeah, you do. Now, going yeah, no, back shoot. is wild. Now, if he's no, what, chasing right. you and he's <laughs> naked, I think it's time to figure this out. But I just don't, like, I just, that's. He did go back. Yeah, going back is why. You know, everybody's, like, getting in the car, and you're like, you know what? G give me just a second. Uh, see the naked. I'm going to save the rest of Nashville. And, and All right, so you said, all right, so I, but I go, he's down there, and you're like, because you said, is he homeless is yeah. he is there some kind of mental like is he bathing in the river like is this the only shower he no, really he was, gets he was like sunbathing okay which is like that's a no-no you can't do that yeah no matter and but you would have just said that's weird but i'm gonna keep going yeah and i go yeah i'm gonna call my <laughs> i'm gonna go back to the scene yeah, 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 yeah. am i turning it into this guy am i that guy it's kind of karen man. shoot dude it is a, no it i is, just said what this is i love well, I just justified it by I love the city and I love people coming to experience the city and how amazing it is. And that, if you, you, a lot of people, I go, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. That's against. If I did that, I would be arrested. Yeah, I mean, you have expectations for your city. I mean, you obviously I'd be care proud, about it. very yeah, proud. Yeah. Of it. yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's the. Well, this is who I am. So mm -hmm. we've established that this is who you are. Yeah. So the the blind guy is trying to find out is he goes, do you, are you in line? Repeated it, are you in mm -hmm, line? Mm -hmm. And the other guy, not listening. Not a he's word. Kind of like, he's not saying a word to Not the guy. a word. Yes. And you go, hey, and I immediately go, I'm not gonna watch this. Mm -hmm. And so then what happened? We both get up and yep. we walk over there and I'm kind of keeping my distance because I'm pretty frustrated with this guy. Like, you, am, were, like you were one I, of He bothered like, me a lot. I thought yep, he was yep, just, yep. Uh, to me, he's openly ignoring a blind man who is asking him a very simple question. Yes. And it was making my my blood boil. Yeah. So I stood back. Once once John got up, I got up too. You yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. mean, if somebody's gonna go be a hero, you're gonna yeah. have to go. I'm not gonna sit there in the table. So we walk over there, and John's helping this guy. He's like kind of t turning him and talking yeah. to him yeah, and trying yeah. to. And so I walk over and I kind of take him from John, and yeah. I see John trying to communicate with the guy at the table. And what yeah. did you find out? Well, then, so I I went back to Derek and I go, dude, the guy doesn't speak English. The guy who wasn't answering him. Yes. That, can you dude. believe the perfect storm? A blind man ran into a man that couldn't speak English, and they just were just. And we saw it. I, I, I mean, they couldn't get around each other. No, it was the, it, 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 like it was like when I took that driverless car, and then there was like a cop, like a directing traffic. The the car goes like it yeah. just it. They were gridlocked. Yeah, and, they and the blind man was becoming. I mean, if we're being honest, he was becoming frustrated. Are you in line? I mean, yeah, he's yeah, smoking yeah. this guy's. And you got to think, now we haven't given this perspective yet, John. What about the guy that doesn't speak English? He he's, just came to Chattanooga to visit some relatives. He thinks yeah. that he's being like mugged. This he, is his first time. He's like, there's a man behind me with a backpack and a seven foot pole. 
<laughs> and I don't feel safe in Tennessee anymore. That's a good point. I mean, we haven't. He, he was terrified. He did look scared, concerned, and I, and I was. I saw it for two seconds, and I go, "What?" And I was mad at the guy too. Yeah. But then you go, "Okay." Now, I, now it's like it, it's like. Would that be universal? Because he, I guess he never saw the guy. Because I think, was he wearing glasses? Well, who are we talking about not seeing who? Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just don't, saying. Don't laugh at that. That's confusing don't laugh at in this joke. situation. Yeah, yeah. He, the, the, the guy that didn't speak English. Because if he would have seen, they go, I think that's universal. The stick is universal. John, if he didn't feel him smacking his chair. I mean, yeah, click, yeah, click. Yeah, yeah. That's what we we talked about. This yeah. we were frustrated. He didn't turn around. I've thought I've left. He I've lost he, sleep over this. He didn't turn yeah. around and put eyes on the situation. Yeah, he just stared at his 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 wife. I'm assuming. Yeah, and yep. just let this guy smoke his chair just, four or five times. And how long would have gone on? Good question. That's what Alex it was like. If you let's say you. I'm the kind of guy again. Dang it! I feel like I'm not the good guy here. <laughs> I did help. I but you I did. but like I'm I like if we go to like a restaurant. We're like we all order drinks. I'm gonna give it. If it if the drink, I'm gonna go. I'm. Gonna, what do you have? Jack and Coke. I'm going to the bar, and I'll get them and bring it back. And y'all, I just I just take it into my own hands very quickly. I've watched you do it. You're really good at it. Very quickly. Like very I go, proactive. I'm in charge. Not mm -hmm. I'm in charge, but like I'm gonna. I'll take charge. Yeah. So how long? But I got buddies that like we talk. Like no matter what they bring to the. What what order? If it's wrong, if it's I got a side of fries, they just go. I'll 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 take it. Yeah, and they cut in line at the at the uh, merge. They merge very first. They mm -hmm. just don't want to. They don't want to rock the boat. Any anything. You were about to ask the real question though, which is: Isn't are you in line? Universal. Are you in line? Are you in line? I go. I walk in. I go. Are you in line? Yeah. Yeah. Are you in line. He would he he's talking about so he should have turned around is what that, I'm saying. My, my, he didn't speak English, he, he, but yeah, I, that but, doesn't but a have tap anything. While you're standing in line is pretty. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? That's everybody. If I go to Argentina <laughs> and you smack my chair enough, I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> look at who's smacking my chair, and I don't even know a word you're saying. But could you tell me why you're smacking my? Or, <laughs> we just, we've lost all our Argentina. And fans. how many neck tats do you yeah. have before I? Yeah, because right yeah. I'm not going. You know. But the, but the, what what I think I was frustrated with, like I understand that he didn't speak English, but to just like. Just clam up. Just I don't want I don't want any part of this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on right here. Right here. I'm just gonna like a sh turtle. Just yeah. That's your plan. I mean, it was just as I I I mean that's not the way to handle that. I uh, listen. I'm not like the most like the most relationally like equipped guy. But like as a woman, don't you want to be with a guy that's like I got it? Yeah. I think. Do you? I mean, I, you want to be with somebody that yes. turns around. Or like, hey, go handle that. Yeah. Now, I'll just try to fight. I, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't fight anybody. I've been in a one or two fights. But they were, they, I had to get out of them. I didn't, st you've been a couple. Yeah. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah, nobody, you don't want to do that. But I always said, like, if you, if you, you pull up to a, a stoplight and there's a guy next to you, and you're like, what's up? And you're like, what's up? And you're like, you looking at me and you fight, you fight, you pull over the cars, fight. Yeah. Both people lose. For sure. Because yeah, it's yeah. not, you shouldn't, this is not, a, what are we doing? Well, it's not worth it because after this red light, we might not see each other again. Yeah, like at a, at a, at a sports game. Like, you're a Raiders fan, I'm a Chargers fan, let's fight in the parking mm -hmm. lot. Both, it's an L both sides. I agree. But if you, if someone slaps your girlfriend's butt, you fight that guy and lose, you still win. Yeah, I agree. Right. Yeah, I think so. Because you go, I, I say, so I guess the concept is where are we standing up for say enough, uh, no more. Because mm -hmm. I go enough with the guy, the motorcycle guy. But if you would have said, huh? So you just have yeah, a lower, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a lower ah, threshold. Yeah. yeah, you have a lower ah, threshold yeah. for yeah, what you for stand enough up for. of this. Yeah, yeah. If somebody, just, yeah. yeah if you just saw him drop that kickstand, yeah, you'd have been like, <laughs> yeah. I go, ah, I would run away. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't run away. I might run away. Yeah. yeah, but I just go. I don't. I don't like. The motorcycle guy's insecurities or in his like need for attention. He's got this huge motorcycle with like the th like a bro. Like just talk to a therapist, man. Don't bring this to yeah. us. And there's hundreds of people around here. I know everyone's annoyed, but I guess on an airplane, I just have to just. I, I got a question for you, John. What are you more annoyed by, loud music or loud vehicles? Vehicles. Doesn't it vehicles. just make? Doesn't it just strike a chord? It when people drive when people drive by and their cars are loud. Yeah. It it 
it sends something like down my, I, I cannot handle it. I'm like, it. dude, you got bullied in high school. Okay. Like, How is that talk enjoyable? to a professional. You're just going to put your insecurities on everybody else at all times. And, and people think that men with loud, like, exhaust or loud music or la like a subwoofer, that's not really a thing anymore. Did you grow up like that? Yeah, big yeah. subwoofer for sure. You did? Yeah. yeah, I didn't have them, but yeah. That you, was why the why thing didn't you have them? I couldn't afford a car in the first place, so oh, okay. putting subs in it was tough. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I had a Volvo, so that was a tough... Yeah, you don't want to come through head. banging in a Volvo. <laughs> yeah, it was a I tough mean, sell. That's not to look. It was a tough sell. Yeah. It was my parents. I couldn't really, I couldn't really customize it. Safest it was, car on the road, but yeah. the guy in it, dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous. Listening to 50 Cent. <laughs> yeah. I've been hit with a few shells, I don't, I've been hit with a few shells, but I don't walk with a limp. In a Volvo? Yeah, I don't okay. think so. All right, so, uh, so the guy, we got up, solved it, and, the, and then the guy was he he come he came over towards our table mm -hmm. and he was like he started talking to us and he got it kind of lost again around yeah. around our around our table he got and he was kind of going towards the wall mm -hmm. this is the blind guy yeah okay and he was going what was he saying like did, just asking questions what'd you get for what'd you eat for lunch today how yeah, how like, were, you know he goes earl was earl here yeah again? was earl here and i told him i had a i befriended a guy in uh, college, he, he was blind and he was in one of my classrooms. And sometimes when he would get a little lost, he would start talking. And he went, they want you to talk back. Just to get just some. So we can get, so we can get some bounce back. Yeah. And, it, and, it may, and it's, to them, maybe it's a little awkward. So they're just trying to keep conversation. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then he, he ended and up we getting had, it We had out. also gathered that by what he was saying, that he is, is, comes is a regular. In yeah. Or he knows, he goes, did you talk to... He knows somebody the, in there. The, the pork and cheese or whatever, some, the name of the... Yeah, I said I got the ooey gooey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, I was like, okay, he, so he's, he's now, he is now, the situation has been dissolved. Yeah, that's right. That guy, the guy from whatever country, I wish we knew his country so we could make jokes about him, but we... Yeah, uh, I said Argentina, but I thought that was pretty, Argentina, that's a great country. Dude. Argentina? Yeah, they, they have got, uh, phone Ronaldo. parties and yeah. avocados, I think. I don't know. I used to watch. Y'all used to watch. Uh, oh, I know what you're about to say. <laughs> Wild on E. Wild on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I grew up in a Christian home, of course. Come on. Dude. Direct TV? <laughs> yeah. What, I want to know what channel that is. 245, I think. I knew MTV is 331. ESPN is 206. Yeah. On Direct TV. What did you grow up with? Uh, we had basic cable for the most part. What were but the channels? I, my grandma had Direct TV. I know ESPN's 206. 206, for sure, yeah. yeah. What did you yeah. grow up with? Um, Cable and then Direct TV later on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think about the time we, I moved out of the house, they got Direct TV. I don't know. I have Xfinity now. I don't know any of the channels. It's wild. Yeah. Do you know my channels? Yeah. No. You know no. of es You know ESPN is now. No. No idea. No idea. Do you? No. That's I just, wild. Well, I just I just plug it in. I go ESPN. Do you know your? Yeah. Do you know your? App. Yeah, I do it. I, I have a, again. I don't want to flex, but I go ESPN with mm. the. Voice oh, I thing. have voice too. Again, guys, Dang, I guys. Shed, I, yeah. I could have said that. Yeah, I have voice I go, too. I go ESPN, and then it goes on. Yeah. Do you know? You go the View, and it comes on. <laughs> <what you> do. <laughs> oh, it's already on. Yeah. yeah. Already on. Do you know your wife's cell phone? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Do you? Your girlfriend's? Yeah. You by heart. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it right now, but she's a smart. Yeah, no, show. don't do that. You know what yeah. I mean? Okay. I'm not trying to put that out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not why I was asking. Yeah, I just don't. I don't. Look, John, smooth with that. Do you yeah, know your girl's yeah. number? Well, then tell it. That's if crazy. You know it. That's yeah, crazy how he just almost did that. <laughs> that is really smooth. I've never even seen that. Was the smooth. you almost got it out of me? And Alyssa's like, "Who's this guy?" Like, what? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I know my best friend Isaac's home phone number when I when we were kids. Oh, I, yep. And I know my parents. My home, my home when I was growing up, mm -hmm. so it's, I think they still have a landline. Those are the only two numbers I know. They still have a landline. And so whenever I do like emergency contact, I put those in because I don't have to look at my phone for like a, like we went skydiving, like who's your emergency contact? I said my home, my house phone, which it, that would never be answered. I was about to say, John's going to run into something terrible and they're yeah. going to be calling his parents landline. Yeah. And they're like, we can't get a hold of anybody. Like, it's because they're in the Welcome. driveway. <laughs> It's goes, Beep. welcome to the Chris House. Or they have like a, they have like a, thank you for calling the Chris House. We are not available right now. If you leave your name and number, may you have to listen to them. Yeah. It's very clearly a landline on the voicemail. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, okay. So, well, then the guy was cool. Mm -hmm. the, the, the guy from foreign country was fine. The other guy was fine. He was kind of 
fiddling around but lost. But I knew we knew he didn't like want a sandwich. No. But he was in there. He came yeah. in there voluntarily. And then, but he was kind of lost in the back, but he wasn't uncomfortable. Yeah. The scene had been dissolved. It had. But then what happened next? He went outside. No, no. Remind me. The white woman. Oh yeah, she came over. Of yes. Course, of course and she did. Yes. Yeah, well, did. okay. Of course she did. So, but this is oh, we've had this conversation literally every week is like, I'm gonna go this far, mm -hmm. someone else is gonna go this far, someone else is gonna go this far with the vaccine or with any possibly like I'm here, I'm only going to here. Everybody's like, I'll go to here. Mm -hmm. And it, like, so we were like, that was enough for me. Yeah. I had I was some people wouldn't call the cops on the naked guy. Can that be the title of this podcast? Yeah. No? Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> Some people would I go, mm -mm, I'm calling the cops. Yeah. But then I had, I, but I'm not going to stand around. And I, the cop, the thing I got, the text I got for 911 is like, you need to stay at the scene and wait. And I was like, well, I'm not doing that. They text you back? Yeah. 911 did. So you called them and then they returned it. With I was them. like, you up? No. They, I don't know. They have my phone information from my cell phone. Cool. Or from my, I don't know, they track you somehow. We're all against the government tracking us, but it was an emergency. We're like, why don't you come get us? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. All right, so then I, I, to me, I was like, we're, we've done enough here. Mm -hmm. And then she came over and was like, can I, and like took him by the arm. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I spent enough time around like, uncomfortable. I was like, no, he's fine. Yeah. Now you're uncomfortable. Exactly. She was uncomfortable and wanted to be like the hero. And I thought, I had gone, but that way I thought that was too far. That, that was disrespectful to him. Yeah. But what about with the music? Was it, do you think that that was a nuisance to everybody or were you uncomfortable? <sighs> you know what? I don't like these kind of questions because <laughs> then I have to, I have to say that I might not have been correct. Yeah. No, I mean, I think I go, you're hey, right. I think you're right. No. Yeah. And he was like, what? <laughs> yeah. But I guess no one else said, hey, no. Did other people applaud you? Nobody probably no, here. Anybody no. give you like a nice man? Thanks for doing that. I'm trying to think if that's if that has happened before when I stand up and be like enough, and everybody goes thank you. Like if the guy's cutting in line, they go mm, no. Everybody else wanted to, but they didn't have. That's what I think in every situation. That's like everybody else wants to say something. I'm gonna do it. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's probably not true. Yeah, you're yeah, you're right. It's because in, the, well, the white, I thought the white. Well, all right, so when I when I was in rehab people would come in like new people would come in all the time and people would uh you're sitting in a circle right there's 13 14 people this is gonna blow your mind and um sometimes people would have a breakthrough like emotionally and they start crying they start bawling crying mm -hmm. bawling and and if you've been around those situations long enough that is very you love that for that person mm -hmm. it's a, it's a it's a very healthy emotion to experience and it could be Happiness, sadness, pain, joy, anything. But the tears are their emotion. You're feeling those things for the first time is amazing. Yes. And every time, it's usually someone new will get up, get the Kleenex, because you know, and he bring it over to them. And they crush that person every time. And the, the rule in rehab, you never bring the Kleenex over to someone. Why? I mean, I would say to assume that they need it. Because you are uncomfortable. Oh, gotcha. With them crying. Wow. Yeah. And I go, and that's what I feel like that white woman was doing. Now, the situation was fine. And to someone experience that level of emotion and the cleanse of a, of a feeling the pain of a, I agree. maybe a childhood event that they do, you need to let them do that. Because bringing them that is going to distract them and pull them out of that. Yeah. Moment. And it's going to be like, I it go, hey, button this up. Right. What you're doing is very therapeutic, but I am I am sitting across the room. I am uncomfortable by you doing this. And so that's like it's called like caretaking when they don't need to. They don't. That's that was for the person that brought it. That's really cool. Yeah, And I go because every time you don't they're not going to tell you that when you check in, you're like right. your life has come undone. You're like I, they had to uh, they confiscate like your belt because that you might hang yourself and you, they confiscated my hair gel because I might like like ingest it to get drunk they don't that's not where they're going to tell you hey also um, exactly <laughs> yeah no yeah. kleenex you're like what <laughs> do they stop do they stop the person from bringing it over mm -mm. before they even they'll go? let them do it but then the next day they'll crush them and i now if you've been in there for a while you go oh he's gonna get killed tomorrow <laughs> wow. oh he's gonna get killed but that that so she was but i guess we had information that she didn't 
Yeah, because we, we were like, he's he's looking, but we knew he was comfortable there. We knew he was a regular mm -hmm. and he was kind of being jokey, not jokey, but very he was light, jovial. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, everybody's good here. We can go about eating and he can kind of I'm guessing if you're blind, that's just part of the deal. Kind it of is. figure in your way and you're running into a wall. It's not uncomfortable for him. Yes. For her, it was. I agree. And she literally grabbed him by the hand like an infant and walked him, yeah. I think, out. But he didn't even want to go out. Yeah, he, he didn't seem like he was in a rush to get out of there, but she walked him all the way to the door. Yeah, which is, I mean. And then she probably went over there and didn't even see what we had done and was like, those two guys are just going to let him. Just yeah, get. and I, I'm the bad guy. And I was like, I've solved this whole thing. Yeah. And that's what I wanted the whole time, just to be the hero. <laughs> I solved this whole thing. <laughs> but I Chattanooga mean, was fun. Yeah, it's Chattanooga. A cool city. Well, there's some, something I asked Derek if I could talk about this before before we walked in. Derek Stroop, just tell me the years, amount of years, before that, you tell me what, don't tell me what, what how long, since, how long, since, uh, since I've drove. I was going to say uh, how many years and then they have to guess what it was. Oh, okay. He's not driven a car in how long? Uh, it's probably been legally driven a car. Yeah. Probably been uh, 12 years. 12 years, not driven a car. Yeah. I know. I do. One time I go, hey, can you just take the car to the, we've been touring for yeah. how long? A year and a half. And uh, we do, sometimes we get a rental car. Sometimes we take the tour bus. Sometimes we Different fly. Different transportation. Sometimes there's a, someone that drives us. That's right. And I go, hey, I'm getting, I'm going somewhere. Do you mind just taking the rental car? And, and this I was is like, recently. This was just a couple months ago. And he I was goes, like, let me tell you something, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my driver's license is a different color than everybody else's. <laughs> Well, mine's uh, just a state ID. Yeah, and it has like a it has like a border on it. Yeah, they make it very clear. Yeah, that that's you like you know when you're be... under you're under you have that's a driver's right. license it has like a little something. Yeah, usually it's a hole in it sometimes. Back home, they in Massachusetts it's vertical. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just that. an that's, ID. That's yeah, 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 that's yeah, common yeah, yeah. too. People okay. always it's, it it really confuses people when you haven't. Driven it confused me. Yeah, he, I go, can you just take it to the airport? He goes. I mean, I'm thinking this is probably not true, but I'm thinking you don't know how to like get it in D. Yeah, but you know how, to and that's very insulting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the fact that his first thought was, "Is this guy can't get it out of park?" breaks my heart. I got to be honest like, with no, you. No, I was like, oh, I, I mean, breaks my heart. No, but if I hadn't like, if I hadn't been on a phone in 12 years, there's different. You'd be broke. I didn't know how to. I wouldn't know how to. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. Everybody would be like, honestly, it would be nice for a little break. It would be nice. I wouldn't know how to. Because they've changed. Well, they haven't really. A car. No. Yeah, okay. I mean, Never it's not like they moved the gas pedal and now I'm like, it's kind of over for me. I, I couldn't <laughs> imagine hopping back in the saddle. You know? Yeah, it's the cars in general still. John, it's going my direction. When I start driving in another 10 years, I'm not going to have to touch. I'm just going to push a button in the vehicle and I'm just going to sit like this. Yeah, it is. Yeah, true. I, I'm not going to have to worry about. Well, maybe they have the, um, they have, they don't do the ignitions anymore. That's something that's not, that's new. Let me tell you something. When you haven't drove as long as I have, sometimes I'll like move somebody's car in the parking lot. Exhilarating. Yeah, I it's mean, like a lot. I'm yeah, like yeah. backing out and I'm like, you know what? Since I'm going to move this car to another parking spot, I'm going to find a good channel. Yeah, still got some, it. Some good music. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, this yeah. is a 14 second trip, but maybe yeah. they've got some, you know. Well, that, who's that? Uh, you know that? Um, <laughs> Windows down. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Out the window. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just circling the parking lot. Are you good? <laughs> who's that? What's that comedian uh, from uh, Hickory? Uh, look up comedian from Hickory. Uh, what's his name? He's from um, Hickory. This is so familiar. Oh, they're um, Hickory, South Carolina. North, North Carolina. Carolina. Look up the Hemi guy. Look up the Hemi guy. This will, this, is, this is, I know who this is. I just can't figure out his name. Uh, John Reap. I got it before. John, John Reap. Two, don't, John Reap's don't get mad because I got this before you looked it up. Did I not? True. Yeah, thank you. Okay, John Reap's one of my favorite comics. His closer is he's sitting in a, he's like, he's going back home, sitting like when I was in high school and he's cruising down the strip and he goes, that's uh, dated. That is. But not dated, cause he's talking about his high school, but it, I don't know if a kid. No, they wouldn't know what that no. is. If, if you sit in and go this. That's a TikTok dance yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> <laughs> getting in a truck and starting a truck is a TikTok. Thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, you get yeah that. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're we're rolling windows down. You know, you're doing this. You're putting it in park. You're driving. Yeah, it's, <laughs> what's the jumping rope? Well, no, this is a double window. Oh, did you get yeah. both windows? Small ah. car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
all the things involving a, a car are yeah are a, a joke now yeah but if you go if you watch that bit if you watch that bit and you were 15 you would go what is this would you not yeah you would definitely not know what that is but this is less funny Yes. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. They're like, we're going to, and now it's like a, I got in a truck. It was like an F 150. I rented at an airport and it was in Houston. I was like, I want to like, I want to like do the thing. I'm in Houston. I want to like be a country guy. Yeah. And okay. Like, yeah. So I rented an F 150 from Enterprise. <laughs> they were like, John, this doesn't really yeah. count, dude. <laughs> but I got a big truck and it had the, 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 it was this. Yeah. Yeah. To put it in and drive. Just Have you a, seen those? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. Just a little knob. And I go, oh, this feels less. Yeah, it does. It's like, excuse me, I'm coming in reverse. <laughs> Versus like, I'm coming back. Like, you know, like you need to. <laughs> yeah. yeah you need when more it's tougher a... to change gears, it feels like, yeah. But you have it. it what's, the, what's the biggest drawback from that? The grocery store. Oh, yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I do, John. I'm, I, I have to. I mean, I you use go Uber, to the grocery store, but it's yeah. so, it's just, it's such a pain. I, I envy. How far is it be, from your house? Oh, very close. You know, I live okay. in downtown Denver. Yep, yep, There's yep. grocery stores all around me, but. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, it doesn't look good when you're, you're on a lime scooter with nine bags. Nah, that you know, ain't it. I yeah, mean, come, it kind of it kind of yeah, looks yeah. like things have gone off the rails yeah, for yeah. you a little Dude, bit. Is he okay. Yeah. yeah, but then you know, you get an Uber and you, it's just more work than everybody else. I'm, and also, here's the thing: you this call, you get the it, while you're in the checkout. You call. Yeah, yeah, Uber. yeah, yeah. But here's the thing: when you just need one or two items, people can just swing through the grocery store. Yeah, it's important. For me to get everything I need in that run, yeah, because I'm gonna have to make this process go back, yeah, all, all over again. So well, that's my, the, the, my, pain. the Publix is is two and a half blocks, very close to you. But if I if I want to go over there and get like some grilled chicken, like and a grilled chicken and like some Texas toast or something, I, and I can get that for the night and walk back with it. Yes, but if I'm getting milk, yeah, I'm driving there. That's right, because I'm not walking. If I'm getting a twelve pack of Coke, I would never do that. I don't know why I'm trying to cover up that I, I don't even drink. Uh, uh, it's stupid. If I was getting a 12 pack, I would drive. Yeah. And it's two blocks. But I go, I'm not carrying that. You have to take that whole like the bit of like making one trip for the groceries. Like you do that. But all, all the way all home. The way there. That's right. Yeah, that, like, that's And I use the reusable bags because I can get more in okay. it in the straw. Let in me tell Denver, you something. we get it. I, well, yeah. that and going through an intersection and losing your groceries on a scooter is a tough bounce back. Oh, because it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you what, being 37 and picking yeah. up gushers and yeah. Lunchables off of a crosswalk in front of other people yeah. is rough. If you came into rehab with that, I would give you the Kleenex. I would go, <laughs> hey, to, hey, Just listen, this, once, this normally... This the therapist was like, "This is it's okay this time. This is easy. but it's just like anything else. When you create a life without it, yeah. it it's normal to me, and it's not a strain. Yeah. It's not. I don't, especially with Uber and Lyft, living in downtown Denver. Yeah. I'm able to get wherever I want, and the costs balance yeah. out pretty well in the long run. Well, I think that the interesting thing about the the human condition is that, like, mm -hmm. if you if you put me in, like, hey, John, like the epicenter of like comedy is like." Uh, uh, DePaul, I go, I guess I, like, a, or a St. Paul, St. Paul, like Minnesota. Yeah. I go, I don't know, I guess I live here now. Yeah. And you'd figure, you'd figure I've heard it the out. same thing about disabilities. Like, dude, I, they lost their leg. Mm -hmm. I can, and then it's like, yeah. You, the human condition kind of, you absolutely figure it out. Yes. And mm -hmm. you're like, I could not imagine not being able to see. Yeah. And then you're like, he's like, well, I, I can't see. Yeah. And then let's go get a ham sandwich. Exactly. Which is which is so true. And and it really does and I un I understand because I drove for a long time before I didn't drive for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for people to wrap their head around how do you live your life without a vehicle? But here's the thing. That's here's what the, I when he it, told me I go, that's this can't John, be. here's really here's an interesting thing. Me and Alyssa, we noticed this. Our neighbor, they have they both have vehicles. Yep. They come and go fifteen times a day. Yep. They have created that. They don't need they don't, to they do don't that. that. They don't need but that. But they're yeah, in and yeah. out of their car, in and out of their car, yeah. in and, and that and that stuck out to me because I'm like, do it. I, yeah. I live the same life they do, mm -hmm. and I do not need to be in my car for anything that many times a day. But no. you create that with a vehicle. You made that, yeah. And that and, and, yeah. and it's the opposite way. I know how to live without taking 15 yeah. trips. And you go. I mean, I, I guess my only my only comparison would be uh, alcohol. Yeah. That I go, there's no way. I mean, mm -hmm. we went, we go, we've been to bars, mm -hmm. and I'm like, 
I could never imagine that yeah. when I had it. Mm -hmm. But now I, don't, I go, I don't know, I'm, I'm good. That's right. Which is like, but prior, you could be like, there's no way, mm -hmm. no way. Like I can never, that guy's, he lost an arm. It's a great example. I can never imagine, he's like, yeah, I don't know, I figured it out. Yeah. And some things are a pain. Yeah. Dude, I'd have a sense of humor if I had something like, like if yeah, I had one to. arm and you asked me how I lived, I'd be like, yeah. it's not that tough. Hugs are awkward. Yeah, see, other you know, that, but yeah. yeah. I think the guy, the guy, there's been comics that are in wheelchairs and they like, they give him like a standing ovation. Like it's a little offensive. But it's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Get out of here. You didn't hear that. Don't laugh at that joke. Yeah. But dude, this remi I, this might get the place. I don't know if this is like, you know, like what's it called when they would, uh, when you had like a mental illness and they would like cut your brain in half and like a, a lobotomy. Yeah, they don't do that anymore. No. Okay, the place that I went to rehab, this reminded me of it. They, they did like, this is wild now that I think about it. They said like, I, my default was like jokes. I always want to make jokes about everything. Even very, um, things that are very serious, very hard for me to, I make jokes. That's mm -hmm. how I cope with things. So they said, they put me on like a joke contract. Wow. They were like, no more jokes that I couldn't make light of things. Through that? Yeah, for like a week. Yeah, you cannot process your emotions through, through jokes anymore, John. Today, yeah, Not at least for, we know that you're a human being. And so there was a guy that was a, uh, he was a, I don't wanna give, yeah, it's, it's, it's no way. He, he, was a, he was a professional soccer player and he was a like international soccer player and he was a model. Wow. And they, he was a model and he was very into his like, appearance mm -hmm. very into his like appearance and that's part of his and they made him they made his roommate dress him from lost and found are you serious for like yeah for like a week and he just looked horrific and he's like this is and then but the only reason what reminded me of this is they made one guy be blind for a day to, to <laughs> I know. where did you go dude <laughs> That's in, that's that's wild, John. They did. They made him wear, and uh, he had to. It was like because he had to. He was like a very self. Like he did everything on his own, and they wanted to make him rely on other people. But you know what, though, I'm thinking like, that's, that's like against the law. I'm thinking about how extreme those cases are, but yeah. the joke thing is probably that extreme for you. Yeah, I go. I can't live without this. Yeah. So he was like very like I'm a. I started his own business, a CEO, entrepreneur, and they go. You have to be blind for a day. And he was blind, and they had to like someone else had to get food for him. And if he wanted to refill, and he had to take him from the class to like the. But they were doing all kinds of stuff. There was one guy that had anger. He had so many anger issues that he was just angry at everything. And they made him a box. They had a box of uh, computer paper. This sounds insane. Yeah. When yeah. I, and they 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 put anger wrote it all over it in duct tape. And he had to carry it around everywhere all day. That makes that makes more sense than the blind thing. Yeah, because the, I that understand. Is the this physical. Is, you're carrying around this heavy emotions for no and reason. And they wanted to explain to him, you, you're you carrying this. Yeah. And it's a pain. Mm -hmm. And at dinner, at you, and we go to like yoga and he had to bring it. And like, you're like, hey, you, they were trying to tell him you don't have to carry this. Yes. That makes sense. Or like a backpack full of like, but yeah, the blind thing was probably too far. How did it go? I don't know. I, I could no, ask him. Say. I could ask him. I know. I still can't. I, I mean, the next day you should do something that would normally anger him and see yeah. how he reacts. See how it, is, is this helpful? Yeah. yeah. That is. I can't believe that. Yeah. Wow. But they had a. They're like a. Like, but dude, when I when I was on that humor, it was like humor contract, and I, dude, I was gonna come out of my skin because I go, like, that's all we do. Yeah, that's it. It's just trash on everything. Like for fun. Yes. That's just what a comedian does. Mm -hmm. It just mm, like every people get frustrated with me. It's like, oh, like my sister was like telling me about something. I was like, oh, pfft. she's like, really? Can you just like for a second? Yeah. Could you just be like, oh, it's good. I go, mm, no yeah. way. Like that. Don't trust anything. No, no. I want to Everything's yeah. BS. Everything is mm, not. Nah, don't buy it. Everything. Everybody. Like if somebody like brings me like a gift. Your default is like, oh, it's very sweet. Mine is like, oh, they probably like want something. Oh, or yeah. Probably, it's, it goes to, mm, oh, oh, really? I bet they were. This is probably a part of the, a brand deal that they have that they're trying to like, they're like, John, can you just, but I guess that's what we do. No, and I think that there's, it's a good balance. There should be skeptical people. Oh. 
there needs to be skeptical people. Yeah. There needs not everybody needs to be just falling in line with everything. You need people sometimes. Whether it's you know, I I, I don't mind that line yeah. of thinking. Let's get Stephen Derrick's involved in this. Mm -hmm. well, I was talking to, um, I could probably say his name's Joel Smallbone. It's a buddy of mine. He's in a Christian band called uh, For King and Country. Cool. We talk. We've we've been friends for a long time. Toured together, not toured together, but we've done shows together for. First time I ever did a show with them was called Summer. Look up John Chris Summer in the Sun. And it's, you're going to laugh That'd at this. That'd be great. Summer in the S-O-N. <laughs> oh, Summer in the S-O-N. Oh, so hard. It's like a Christian. It's like a Christian. Uh, don't, don't you could keep so, saying Christian, but no, it's still it's a, Summer in the S-O-N. No, there it is. There, um, no, go down to like Summer in the, John Chris Summer in the, go down. It has to be down there somewhere. Because uh, I made an appearance at this like, uh, hold on, what do those say? John Chris in a relationship. What are the recent Google searches? John Chris related, wife. Related, not recent. These related searches. searches. John Chris wife. Two is John Chris Christian. Wow, dude. That's not for anyone to judge, but I guess they do on the internet. Three, John Chris family photo. Four, Sarah Zanotti, John Chris. That's the girl they make the videos yep. with. Five, is John Chris in a relationship? We already covered that. Six, John Chris sister. What does that mean? These are recent searches. I'm sorry. These are not recent Yours? searches. These are related. This is your, so, no, your computer, are, dude? Yeah. yeah these Bro, are all, These dude. are all the things that I want to text you, but wow. I can't, so I Google them. John Chris sister. <laughs> Which sister, dude? And then John Chris siblings, John Chris and Trey Kennedy. These are related to the Summer in the Sun. Yeah. Okay. We'll yeah, let that go. It, all right. Know. We can't find it. I'm going to say this was, Derek, you'll die at this. I'm going to say this was 2010, maybe. Yeah. So this, me, me and Joel have been friends for a long time. Angela Johnson's uh, birthday party was last weekend. This comedian favorite of mine. We went there. Me and Joel were talking. He's very into the Christian evangelical world. And he tells, he goes, dude, I've watched your videos. And, and I follow his career. He follows mine. He goes, we need every, every subculture. He goes, there are, there are pastors and then there are prophets. And he said about comedians, he goes, the comedians are like the prophets. They're the agitators. They're from out of town. That's right. They come in and be like, nope, yeah. I'm not, that y'all are doing this wrong. Why do you do this? You should question your motives here. This seems weird. Leaves. Mm -hmm. The pastor is like the encourager, yeah. the shepherd. The, and he goes, you don't need all prophets and you don't need all pastors. Exactly. And I go, I never heard it like that. Yeah, that's that, beautifully put. Yes, because there yeah. was a whole, if there's a whole festival or whole weekend thing, it's all comedians. It's just like heavy. Mm -hmm. Just like, uh, like we, like if it's all me, mm -hmm. it's too much. Yeah, that's right. But if it's all, I feel like if it's too dishonest, we have to be like, hey. Yep. And that's all of my best videos that have, I just go, I don't think so. And it's true. And sometimes I don't nail it. We don't get it right all the time. No, of course right? not. Would you say sometimes you stay stuff and they're like, no. Or they uh, don't connect with it. Yeah. And sometimes I like to say things maybe that I don't 100% believe, but I think is a good point and a funny point. Yeah. Like, I mean, yep, yep. I, I, I do a, a dairy bit. And I don't believe everything I'm talking about when I'm saying that, but I think I'm making some decent points. The dairy bit, but the general premise is that like, people are like, oh, I'm allergic to dairy. I'm like, yeah, everybody's yeah. saying they're allergic to dairy, and I go into how dairy is a consequence product. Yeah, and you had a pound of sour cream. Yeah, if you're yeah. Not so allergic to it. There's going to be some consequences. Yeah. So there's yeah. some things where it's not that I don't believe that there's dairy allergies, which yes. you could take from that if you wanted to. I, I, I just think that. People are overreacting, so we yeah, we, we yeah, try yeah, to live yeah. in that middle line where we're yeah. not we're not factual all the time. Yeah. But what about this? And or I go, what about yeah. this? And nobody said same with uh, uh, gluten allergy. That's right. But do we believe that celiac disease is real? Yes, for sure. Of course. Do we believe that it has killed people? Absolutely. Yes. Do we believe allergic reactions are real? Yes. But yeah. what are we saying? Mm -hmm. That this every white girl that has like a poodle is like, mm -hmm, I need the order off the gluten free menu. No, exactly, and that we get lumped in with, oh, John is wants to kill people, or John or like no, that's not true. That's not true at all. You just go, I don't, yeah. And the reason why the oh, I've said this, I need to make this a T-shirt because we talk about this every week. The only thing people are ever offended about is truth. Every time, 
if it wasn't true, I could make up a lie. It's not going to bother anybody. That, uh, people say every week people say that I'm gay on the internet. Yeah. And it doesn't uh, sometimes they're funny, sometimes it's clever. It doesn't keep me up at night. It does, yeah. I hear it all the time. I don't know why that wasn't in one of the recent searches. You want to look it up? No, I'll just text you that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, uh, you don't want to know how many hits this one has. Uh, <laughs> or see the page that I run on the side. He goes, yeah. You're not. <laughs> but that doesn't, it doesn't like, I would think that's funny or like, I don't know. I just, I, it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. But if you were secretly, then of course it would. Which is like always yeah. like, like, like Daniel Tosh mm -hmm. has so many like jokes like that about like he's in like a purple like bikini or like oh, you never know i go yeah he's not because that's why the jokes yeah that's how jokes work but it's a very like we grew up very like you grew up christian absolutely like in where like if somebody is like a kid in your youth group was wearing like a pink shirt you're like oh yeah i mean it's uh, like that, that that doesn't that's uh, not how being gay works yeah not at <laughs> yeah, all yeah, no <laughs> Not they go, all. oh, dude, you like musicals? You like what? Yeah, that's not, but that's like a joke in like in like uh, Christian like subculture. Oh yeah, I, very much so, especially at a at a younger age. Yeah, younger. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's not. Very, yeah, that yeah, wouldn't make any sense. But like for me, I mean, I'm I feel pretty intuitive in general, and like the problem that I would I would know somebody yeah was gay yeah I almost feel like before they did. It's the same, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, you're like, like got, and then they it. come out, and you're like, yeah, I can't believe, dude. That's right. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know how many times this happened. I, I, like things that I've made jokes about that that come true. Yeah, that I've gone because I, I again I miss a lot. I mm -hmm. miss on jokes a lot. And that, dude, you know what I missed on? We should talk about. It. Well, all right, the um the edit that I had of that video, your edit versus my edit of the girls uh, on the Instagram versus reality. Yeah. Y'all had an edit of that and I go, I want to, and they, mine was, it was too much. If you look at the comments on my video, it's like, wow, dude, this is a little bit like. Too far. It seemed a little heavy handed, uh -huh. but your edit was different. Your edit was different. Yeah, respect. Because I go put this line in about the women Instagram versus reality. I'm looking for a hot pocket or whatever it was. Yes. And a lot of people on mine were like, dude, like we want to see vulnerability. And I go, oh, interesting. We got a good fan base then. Must have. Yeah. It, people are keeping us on the straight and narrow. But you also do have to miss sometimes. I think they just yeah, you have to miss it, right? Yeah. So I so I, I miss all the time and it Absolutely. doesn't really bother me. Absolutely. But I've said like I made a, a, you know, a virtual reality church. I made that video three and a half years ago about how you get you put on the goggles, you sit down and you choose the outfit you want to wear based on the denomination you choose the sermon if you want like a uh, fire and brimstone or like just like a motivational and like you can choose the lyrics and like and th that exists yeah now but at the time it was like oh this is offensive and i made uh playing guess who in 2019 this is three years ago and i go is it a man wow dude really do they, uh, is it, um, are they black? Wow. And it was, that was the bit, yeah. right? And it, it, that, somebody sent me this week that in real life. Oh. About like a person that was like, they weren't doing a bit. They're like, here's how to play Guess Who in, with, in being inclusive. Like these are the new rules of how to yeah, play. Yeah, and I go, when I made this, everybody's like, I can't believe, and now it's like, yeah, that's, and I go, I don't know how many times it's gonna have to happen. I'm not saying the comedians are like saving the world. You well, did sometimes, say profits though. Well, no, Joel <laughs> said that. Okay. I agreed, but <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a profit. What is the role of the guy that talks to the motorcycle guy? He's a. Uh, I mean, I think Karen was the best way to describe <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Let me think. How how can people weigh in if they're going to listen to this podcast and think I was talk, talking to the motorcycle guy was out of line? Oh, definitely comment on the YouTube for sure. Get in those comments. Oh yeah, they, I would love to. I would love to know. Is they say point for Derek or or everybody point for everyone in here except me because mm -hmm. I'm on the other. I'm the only guy on the other side. That's right. I, I mean, that's why I had like we talked about like the um, like the mask thing on yeah. the on the airplane. Yeah, where I didn't have. 
I thought it was dumb to do, to be to be doing that. I didn't I didn't have a proper enough information with it to be like. But if someone next to me on the flight would have been like, "Hey, my child is immunocompromised. Would you mind wearing a mask?" A million. I would wear three masks. That's right. I just didn't. The information that I was given about COVID. I'm gonna. Well, no, no, they're gonna put a thing on this podcast. But mm -hmm. the information I was given was not good enough. Yeah. For me to go, I'm gonna wear a mask in the air in the, on a five hour flight. Yeah. But if someone says, "Hey, would you?" I go. Like a guy, we. I was not wearing a mask one time, and a guy was like, "Hey, do you mind?" Um, <laughs> like uh, yeah. putting, pressing his nose because. And he had, he was in the, it was the, in the, uh, not the gangway. What's the gangway when you, you're going to get, you got to jump off a pirate ship? Uh, like a plank? Like walking the plank? Yeah. What's the thing on the airplane? Uh, that takes you to the? Yeah. Jet bridge. Jet bridge. Oh, Jet yeah. bridge. Okay. <laughs> I was lost. Yeah. I was what's the, what do you think? Go I didn't know the, how pirate ship got Go involved. look up pirate. <laughs> uh, what's a, what's a gangway? Look up gangway pirate. Look I don't know. It sounds pirate. like community outreach for Bloods and Crips. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why don't y'all come down to gangway and we're going to feed y'all. Let's quit shooting each other. You know? Why is he talking that accent? Yeah, gangway. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. That's just like one uh, for like a cruise ship. Yeah, you got it. Okay, the plank is when you walk off to die. Well, yeah. you said pirate ship. And That's planks. A, planks are only on pirate ships. I thought. Like, are people walking planks? What is that? Go look <laughs> no. up a plank. Look no, up a plank. No, no way. Anyone's walking. They're planks. still doing that. No way. I don't think so. Yeah, man. that's like that's like the the analogy with you in the car. They're like walking up. Like, what is this? Like, it's a plank. They, we, how did we learn about that? Um, Hook. That's what I was just trying to remember. Yeah. Hook for sure. All right. How do you walk the plank? The walking the. Oh, now it's like a TikTok dance, dude. <laughs> Oh, and then there's planking, right? Oh, yeah, planking. Yeah. Go to uh, walk the plank. Go to images. This will tell us. You might have to include pirate on this. Okay. Now, that's a, oh, a plank is like a is like a working out. A plank. He like put a. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I do. There it is. Go I to that third constantly. one right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. I gave up drinking for planking, baby. I yeah, got a couple of shirts. Go. <laughs> All right. We'll look up like the Wikipedia behind plank, but like by pirate planking. Because yeah. that is like, and this will be good because we'll be one of the very few people, yeah, trying to figure this out. Yeah, yeah no one else. Yeah, is no one will talk about this. All right, in nineteen in seventeen sixty nine, Moltenier, Moltenier, what does that say? Uh, Len the Clapton, his fellow had his officers walk the plank, uh, describing the account of characters that may or may not be true in case of nothing to do with pirates. Okay, it might not be true, but it was a, uh, it was like to to torture someone right yeah and they would have us have a sword yeah and if they come back they get killed and if they fell off they get killed that's right the funny thing about like ships back then it was only like 15 feet <laughs> they were like i could just go i can yeah but i guess they had sails and they would they and would also if half the crew's already died from scurvy i'll just jump off this yeah plane. i'm good yeah, yeah i'm gonna try to swim it out i'm good yeah but yeah like yeah there's a photo of it like uh, conspiracy walking the plank they they well it was in hook right yeah, I think was they do it? it in hook, and you're like blindfolded, oh, and you have to, yeah. you know, because you have to walk the plank, and that's like what's really important. Because so, is there? Okay, here's what? my question: Can you defeat the plank? Yeah, there's it, no it, win. What's the point? Okay, well, well I, I don't, don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but why don't you just? Why don't they just push them off the edge? Pretty bored out there. Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, gotta make a thing of it. Yeah, we're, like, yeah. Why we're, can't you just throw them? Can over? you just? We don't like them. They got caught like uh, sniffing the gunpowder or something in the barrel. I don't know what. What would, a, what would if you're discovering the new world like dude, we got a long, gun we got a long way to go until we get to uh, the united states this good. guy drank all of our rum yeah there you go yeah yeah, yeah there you go. that's a better example yeah you gotta you gotta get him off that boat you gotta walk the plank yeah they can't just kill him they gotta just yeah and that might be a less like uh yeah they kind of kill like, themselves it was like a public oh yeah it's like i'm hey yeah i didn't yeah it's like don't they have a like uh this is kind of morbid, but in like a if if like there's like a somebody, do they still do uh, capital punishment? Like a, I think a, it's some it's a state by state thing. Yes, yeah, so they by gunfire, and they have like twelve. people. Yeah, they do they do squad. What is it? Firing uh, squad. Firing squad. That is that yeah, is but, an option. But in they some have states. a bunch of people, so it's not on somebody's conscience. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And some of them don't shoot too. I think. 
Really? Like, I think some of the people holding the guns. I don't even want to look this up. But yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Oh, back to the guy in the airport. We were walking the plank to get on the airplane. <laughs> yeah. The jetway, a gangway is for boats. People, this is, dude, that's why the, the it's just a net positive podcast. Educational. You're like, hey, how is the podcast? Well, we did learn one thing. A jetway is for a plane. plane. Jet plane. A gangway. Ask to see why they call it a gangway. Gangway is for uh, uh, getting on a boat. Yeah. Right? And I can't wait to use that. That's a gangway. And you guys are like, what are you talking about? I knew it was a thing. Platforms connecting trains. Okay. Stand for an old-fashioned gang. Go, go. All right. So there was a twin center comedy community. Clear the way. All right. Sure. So I was on the I was on the thing, and this was during COVID. I didn't have my mask on on the on the jetway. There was a guy behind me who had a mask on. His wife had a mask on. He had two young children. Yeah. Wearing masks, and he goes, "Hey, do you mind like just putting a mask on because that's kind of the rules?" And I, I go, oh. and I could, probably was like smart with him or something like that, and I probably. Put it on but didn't really put it on to just be like very childish about it yeah but then like the more i like i sat and thought about it i was like yeah he's got two kids that he's trying to yeah convince to wear there's three and four years old he's got two kids that he's trying to be like hey yeah and he and seems the, pretty polite yeah and the, the kid goes what about that guy yeah and he goes I, I, maybe he didn't even agree with masks either but he goes hey can you just yeah and I think I was on the plane. I go, nah, yeah, he's probably right. Yeah, like I not, not, but not with the math, but with the current situation, and ha and how people ask things matters to me. The other day, I got yeah. into an Uber, and uh, I, I'm bad about not wearing my seatbelt in the back seat. Oh. <laughs> and the Uber driver said, "Could you put your seatbelt on for me? I don't want to get a ticket." And I hated that yeah. so much because. Just keep it real. Keep it one hundred. Well, you hated that he said that. Yeah, because I don't. I. I. I it just reminded me, like growing okay, up, yeah, when yeah, parents yeah, would yeah. say things. I was yeah. like smarter than what they were giving me credit for, and they would give you yeah. bogus reasons. Nobody's getting pulled over for seatbelts. He's never been pulled over for never once. Just go, hey man. I, I, you know what I said to him because I mean I can be childish. I said yeah, I don't think they're too. giving out tickets. Uh, <laughs> I haven't heard about that in ten years for seatbelts, but I'm going to put my seatbelt on yeah. because I'm an adult. And that's yeah. what I need to do. And I want to get to the grocery store. Well, and this yeah. guy, I was coming home from the airport, but <laughs> yeah. this guy, if he would have just been like, put your seatbelt on for me, my man, I would have liked it. So put your seatbelt right. on so yeah. the police don't pull us over. And that's the same thing about, I go, you go, that's no, no, no. Well, tell me, tell, tell me, tell them a story about when uh, the Uber that you go, where are you? Oh, this is, this is wild. Yeah. This is just the, earlier this week. I had to say, all right. Uh, 17 minutes until he's picking me up and that's Which fine is, that's, that wouldn't happen in nashville anywhere no. yeah it's yeah it's super far. busy oh y'all are gonna love this you know yeah. what time it is it's 4 15 in the morning there's a 17 minute wait <laughs> okay. the airports right. the airports that might be well still not 17 in nashville the airport's but... bonkers in okay. denver so anyways yeah. i'm not like in a huge rush i've given myself plenty of time five minutes has passed by the his... way this is going to defend my premise of the whole podcast because you're on my side on this one yes you said all right you just so said, so yeah. he's sitting there for 17 minutes he has not moved you don't get any, inf any information. I don't know if his car's broke down, if he's in traffic. Do I need to switch rides? So I You're go sitting there. I, 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 no words added, no words taken away. Hey man, I noticed you haven't moved yet. Is everything okay? All right, pause uh, right there. Yes. Would you do that or no? I've done that. Yeah, I've and done just, that. Well, okay. you're just checking in, and I am a little worried because now here's what can happen in the airport game. I'm dead. Seventeen this, minutes yeah. goes by, and he doesn't come get me. You I'm got a problem. I got to go back to the beginning yeah. and run this back. So I'm just checking. And, in. and you're, if you go by fifteen minutes, if you put your phone down and go, I'm going to walk outside of the curb in seventeen minutes. Yes, that would be a mistake. He, so I send that to him. His but response, somebody, everybody would be on the on get off at different points. If you get if you go five minutes. Mm -hmm. You might go seven minutes. I might go three minutes. Yes. But everybody, event, that's where my, my COVID point was like, everybody eventually is going to come out of their house. Yeah. You're not going to die in there. If they were like, everyone has to wear three masks. You got to get vaccinated once a week. You go, I'm out. Yeah. Enough is enough. I'm going to the store. I don't care if you arrest me. So everybody, so you say five minutes. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't say, I, I, yeah, I waited five minutes. After the 17th. After the 17th. Okay, right. And there's no movement. And I go, and I send that message. And he <sighs> says, I'm, he had a Tesla. His name was Eric. 
He said, <laughs> "Why does that matter?" Because I'm looking for him. Crucial. All right. Let me find that black. Next time I see a black Tesla in Denver, I'm gonna go. Excuse yeah. me, man. Is your name Eric? Yeah. And let's let. Okay. Wait, so wait, first of all, did you say Tesla? Tesla. No, you said Tesla. I hope not. What did he say? Earlier, when I was talking to Aaron Weber, I said Mick Jagger. What is that? And it's not Mick Jagger. I can tell you that. <laughs> Who's that? I can tell you that. You gave him a soft J. Yeah, he said, he said, you, uh, is that the, he goes, is that the Hispanic uh, Rolling Stones? Mick Jagger. Yeah, he, does, he goes, uh, Mick Jagger. And I was like, do you know how embarrassing that Hola. is? So anyways, Tesla Me with an Mick S. Jagger. Okay, go. So he says, hey man, I'm juicing up. This thing doesn't run off of fairy dust. Oh. Can you That's now listen, what I'm saying, listen, dude. My initial reaction <laughs> ten years ago, I'd have went. I'd have yeah, went. Yeah. Hey, Eric, this won't be tough. You have my address. Come, come, tote this butt whooping <laughs> over here at my house. Thanks I mean, for, I don't, I, 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 thanks my, for cleaning that up for my, my podcast, by the way. My, I my, that. And for your shows, and for the first, the first ten seconds, I wanted to fight Eric. Yes. Natural, but then you know what I did? I just canceled the ride, and I think about him every night. So. <laughs> And, and and that's what you and that's what you have to do as an adult because you know he has my address. I mean, I had so many things I want. Why yeah, would yeah. you speak to somebody like that, John? Yeah, yeah. Well, right, so he he was. We. This is like the kind of stuff we talk about on the bus all day. If you in the rehab process, if you think about his side, Alex, he's going, dude. I do that. I I pick up people. It's four in the morning. I pick up people all day. People are probably, where's the, how come he didn't traffic? And he, and somebody pressed him in a way that he goes, I'm a fire back a little. And this, and you know what? A little and sideways. Just like, just like being a guy that used to be in retail for a long time. I'm going to tell you how this goes. Yeah. You always take it out on the wrong person. Always. Because always, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, never yeah. step up when the person that's rude to you that deserves it. Yep. You never give it to them. No. It's the no, next yeah. person. And then I they guarantee get you, the consequences. at the end of our interaction, I don't know, Eric, he might be a monster. But yeah. he, I, I think, and I'd like to think, in my heart of hearts. I would say something like he, that. He, he would think, I came in a little hot on that guy. Like, and you canceled it immediately. And I canceled it immediately because <laughs> let me tell you something. I tell you, I'm, I, I want to go to heaven, and I would things my I didn't. I had a lot of mean things to say to Eric. That's in the New Testament. Yeah, like, that's the eleventh commandment. Yeah, let your give your patience to your Uber driver. I can't believe you waited seventeen minutes. To, I didn't wait seventeen. No, he said minutes. Wait five. 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 Out. Oh, I thought you said five past the seventeen. No, no, no. Seventeen minutes. Ooh. He still hasn't moved. I waited about five minutes before I checked in. Got it. So that's why I mean, yeah. he, I didn't deserve whatever you, night or day he was having. Tell me exactly what you said. I, the exact words. Um, after he said it? No, in the text to him. I, I said it just a minute ago. Uh, hey, uh, I've noticed you haven't moved yet. Is everything okay? What do you think about that? I think that's great. That's very. There's nothing. There's nothing there that's that's out of line. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is this is my whole life right is here. I'm a very okay? excitable person, yeah, a very yeah, emotional yeah. person. Yeah. And I get worked up. Y'all see me? I'll go from I'll go zero to oh, hundred. Jake wrote now. a song about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I. I, I <laughs> <laughs> so listen. When situations happen like this, and I love John, and he and I see what he's doing. You're trying to figure out what did Derek do here. Yeah, what, what did Derek yeah, do? The, it was what too did, far. Yes, and sometimes in the rare city, I didn't do any. This was yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just came in, and he uh, yeah. and he was having. And plus, I know Teslas are very cool, <laughs> but but now because his his car runs that, on that, uh, that, yeah. yeah yeah oak bark and high fives, yeah. <laughs> I've got to wait seventeen. If, if he'd have had regular gasoline, we'd have been yeah. we, we'd have been pumping and going. driving a Ford Taurus. You give yeah, him a little bit more, yeah, but he's that Eric. And yeah, and he's like, well, it's hard to run my car when the sun's not out, you yeah, know. And I'm yeah. like. Okay, I mean, I, you know, I get that. And he's like, you know, he's like the when you say Eric, his name was Eric, and he drove a Tesla. I'm going, oh, I know that, yeah, guy. Mm -hmm. So if you might, if there's something else that you might let him go a little bit, but yeah, you know, mm, no, yeah. And I'm kind of, yeah. and in those moments, I'm kind of, I mean, I thought about screenshotting the thing where I had his license plate and his little yeah, picture. Yeah, do a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's not healthy. No. Um, and so, but yeah, I think I handled it perfect. Well, you take it, I think you take this, um, you just go, everything is a, when you get cut off in traffic, we talked about this, it's a, it's a, all the stuff from your past. I got fired from my job. Uh, I was excited about my, birthday party and no one came uh no one messaged me when i was in the hospital all these 
your your stuff exactly the stuff, and you get cut off and you go that mm-hmm. see yeah look no one cares about me no one loves that's me right. and that's not true mm-hmm. it's not true but you carry all the uh, the rest of his day or yesterday was yeah. four in the morning he's still like I don't know why you feel some kind of way. First of all, I'm still holding the, yeah, the yeah. thing of paper yeah. that says that says anger. The on anger. It. You see, yeah, I'm still yeah, I'm yeah. walking and around with too. that. He is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, uh, uh, let me just throw this out there. If you have a Tesla and you're driving an Uber, you made some financial <laughs> mistakes. Yeah. Say that. yeah. Right. Yeah. Like if it's if pulls up in a Ferrari, I go, "What are you doing?" Yeah. What do you now? Maybe there is Uber for Teslas, specific, or you just requested one. Oh man, I'd like there to is, lie here, there but is it was just luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just yeah, got, yeah. yeah. There is one that's specifically that. Oh well, it's Uber Black, or it's a right. Uh, yeah, it's another a, whole other app. Yeah, there is a whole just other Teslas. App. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. they're in like man, three cities. Feeling pretty other. poor right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, didn't yeah. have never heard of that. Yeah. That's he's pretty like, cool. He's like, now I got to carry this around. Just add this. <laughs> well, no, y'all just yeah. now. I bet you I can get to Eric if I get part of that. I'm gonna get in that app. What? You could be like, oh, look who it keep is. Just going to keep requesting and canceling. Look who it is. Yeah, that looks like him. Yeah. Oh, Eric. <laughs> Honey, we got him. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. It's happening. Yeah. And I'm going to do the thing from, yeah. from the movie Wedding Crashers. When yeah. he comes up, I'm going to go, I find you. Oh, okay. <laughs> look who it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't escape me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, uh, uh, like I've there's some people that have been like critical of me, like, like on the internet, like this is back in 2019. Mm-hmm. They're just people spouting things off on the internet is very specific and personal and hurtful to me. And like, if that person knew the amount of brain space that that has t- taken up for three years of my life, they would be shocked. And overjoyed. And overjoyed. Over- yeah. They just threw that out. And they go, and they hadn't thought about it since that day. I have not stopped thinking about it since that day. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you, you, but I have chosen to wake up and put this on. Hey, I told you this quote one time and you loved it. What? The ax never remembers and the tree never forgets. Write that down, Come baby. on, man. Wait, hold on. Unpack that. The no, no, hold on. Let me not say unpack that because I can't, when Christians say that, it annoys me the most. Yeah. Un- uh, let's unpack that. I just got, I just told somebody else that, and I go, I hate that phrase so much. All right, say it again. The axe never remembers and the tree never forgets. Yeah, it's just yeah swinging. Mm-hmm. But but the axe does all the damage. But the only thing, the tree's the only one that remembers. What, and that's exactly what you're talking. I've always loved that quote because yeah. it's so true. And it's exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Those people are the axes. Yeah. And you're the tree. And they get done I making their cuts. I never forget. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I've been, but I've been on the other side of that too. Mm-hmm. That somebody, I don't want to give away the, who, that happens every time. I go, I don't want to, I don't want to expose that person just but like, you've been the axe you're saying mm-hmm. yeah yeah well so, somebody goes i'm gonna try to think about this without so that i there uh, that i hurt somebody that I, that on accident or not on accident but i miss i offended somebody and it was like four years later you see i'm here to prove john christ Mm-hmm. And I go, what? Yeah. I I haven't thought about, I didn't even know I did that to you. Mm-hmm. And you've been like waking up every That's morning exactly trying right. to like make sure John Chris knows that I'm successful. And I go, what? I, I, it just doesn't. No, that's, it makes perfect sense. It there, didn't, yeah. There's several people in my life that have said things to me that do not know that I, I remember yeah, every them. Every day. They would be every so day. shocked. They don't even remember. I guarantee you these yep. people would not remember saying this to me. Yeah. But I have never forgot it. I got it. Yeah, I got a guy when I left my, when I left my job, I worked at a sports marketing company in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Mm-hmm. I was starting to become, this is in 2012. I was starting to become decent at comedy. And I was like, all right, if I do like, if I make, I figured out if I made $700 a month, I would be good. Which is why I go, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to quit my job and become, and I was, we had the last, I had like a party at my office because I was leaving mm-hmm. and there was like cake. And I remember I never, I took a photo of it and it was probably on like a razor phone. I took a photo of this piece of cake 
the small piece of cake on a plastic with a plastic fork and a, and a paper plate. And I go, I gave like my, I didn't really, but I gave my like heart and soul for this company. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, thanks. It's tough, man. And I go, oh man, that, oh, I got it now. Yeah, I got it. That's now. right. And so there was a guy in there. At, at, in the in the uh i was like they were like you're going to be a comedian and everybody's like okay i'm sure like my parents were like mortified of obviously course. yeah and he goes hey this is a guy he goes we're gonna keep your desk open because we'll see you back here in three months Wow. Mm. never forgot that I, I i could tell you it's like one of those like i wrote this about, about this in my book like a frozen moment in time i remember exactly where i was standing where he was. Oh yeah. What where my computer was right here. It was on a desk. It wasn't it was it was on a table, not even Man. a desk. I remember him. I remember the lady that was standing here and I remember the receptionist right there. Yeah. And I mm. he if I told him that he'd be like, "Dude, I, I didn't He was just do Yeah. Th saying stuff. Yeah, but just it, that little nugget was also I wrote motivation. It, I wrote it yeah. down. It's still in my phone. Wow. He goes, I'll see you in we'll, we'll keep your desk open. We'll see you in three months. Which is like, he was probably, he's probably thrilled for me. And, and, it, and if he did say that out of actual malice, it was because he still works there. Absolutely. And he wanted to do what I am doing. Yep. And he didn't. And I'm doing it. And now that is a reflection. That's everybody, everybody that's ever been angry with me on the internet it's like oh how come he gets to be successful and it, it's like i don't like if you're here another person's here you become up here mm -hmm. they hate that yeah absolutely the, you've experienced that absolutely so have i i mean my mom told me that she ran into one of my close friend childhood friends mothers in a grocery store yeah and she said i heard derek's doing really well and then she goes it blows my mind that people can make a living telling jokes. So disrespectful. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dude. That's just so disrespectful. It blows my mind that people can make a living telling jokes. Which is, what What does she mean by that? Well, I know your son and he... Well, Southerners, especially with comedy, we're, they don't understand how we're making a living or how you could raise a family as a comedian. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, You're yeah, supposed yeah. to be part of the union. Yeah, and don't yeah. you have to eat lunch in a break room? We all have to get up on Monday morning at 7 30 and go to a place and sit in traffic and you don't yeah and i feel the same way about them yeah i'm yeah. like you've got to you you've got to make your money by doing tupperware parties and selling. <laughs> okay wow well, you know you know I'm, I'm just saying like i mean it's it, it, it for me it, it, like i mean i don't really feel that way but when i hear that that's how i feel why, why would you say anything about anybody <laughs> the way you, you might have to edit no, that or no, there's gonna be a lot of fans talking about how much Cause I love Tupperware. I got to be honest with you, <laughs> big leftovers it. guy, big leftovers guy. But <laughs> no, I, I mean seriously, a lot of Southerners and then yeah, I. Yeah, you're right though. We, we don't grow up dreaming of being comedians in the yeah. South necessarily. Yeah. Uh, but as maybe some people do in bigger cities. But yeah, it, that's that is that's rude. Not, for, from where you came from, the city or the that people don't do that. Harvest Alabama doesn't produce comedians. Not too many. Yeah. They, yeah, you're the biggest. How does that feel? Man, it's unreal. <laughs> the yeah, a, a community of 3,000 people and I'm the king? Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're the only comedian ever out of that. Uh, I'm probably the only comedian out of Lilburn, Georgia. I guarantee it. 100%. Yeah. De I don't want to brag, but I'm definitely the most successful. A comedian from Lilburn, Georgia. Mm -hmm. For sure. How, how many people? From they, I don't know. A couple. Uh, a couple. 80,000. Oh, look okay. Up, look it up. Lilburn, Georgia. L like Lil John, but uh, Lilburn. L-A-L-B-U-R-N population i mean i would say eighty thousand. Twelve. wow I, I grew up my whole life there Twelve thousand. you said 80 yeah i don't know i thought that was a decent size i was like eighty thousand is a pretty you might need to see if you are the most successful yeah i might, I might double check that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah look up comedians from lilburn georgia if my if i don't pop up number one i'm uh, leaving yeah i hope you don't that would best be best comedians in lilburn georgia i hope it's like some guy it's with a stage it. name they're gonna be like redneck ricky let's one. go I'm in there. Oh, this feels good. Genres. Well, you know what? We're not going to leave the rest of it alone, but that is me. That's what you can. You, let's not get too deep into Google on me, but yeah. All right. But your mom told you that. Yeah. And you, that 
connected so, with yeah, you. Yeah, and I know the lady. But your mom tells you a hundred things a day. Yeah. Well, and you you just yeah, and that didn't make me mad. That more hurt my feelings. Okay. Where it's just like, yeah. I mean, come on, why could you not? Why is that your response? It's like yeah. uh, it, it's very passive aggressive. Where it's like, congratulations. That doesn't make any sense to I me. I don't. I don't. That's it's kind of like a, it, it's a reflection on her. They're yeah. like, oh, your mind is not big enough that like. I heard something about this this uh, in internet. I don't think it's going to catch on. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's going to catch on for sure. Yeah, you know but what's you, saying? I swore off a long time ago. That kind of goes along those lines. What must be nice. Must yeah, be like nice. that's what that is. Oh, like yeah. saying must be nice. That's like that, the same kind of back. My friend Katie says that all the time. He's so nice. right. Yeah. He's so right. Must, must be, nice. be nice. Is exactly. It's what like that a is. dig. Yeah. It is. Must be nice. Yeah. Like, oh, you got a Tesla? Must be nice. Well, yeah, it's because, well, that, once you become yeah. a comedian, every people don't realize what it takes to get there. So now they just see somebody telling jokes. Yeah. And they're like, must be nice. Yeah, I got a tour bus. Must be nice. Yeah. And there's, you, there's so many things that have gone into the decision to do that. Unreal. First of all, if anyone doesn't know, how many people we travel with? Six? Yeah. Six. Okay. And that there's thousands of people at the show to get that many people with, it takes people. Yeah. And so to fly six people and put six people in a hotel is a ton of work. No money. A ton of money. Oh yeah. And a tour bus, I'll just tell you, it's $2,500 a day. It's cheaper. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not, I rather fly. Mm -hmm. It's not any kind of flex of any sort. I don't care in the least. But people go, oh, tour bus, huh? Yeah. Must be nice. Yes. Must be, which is saying what? I mean, they're, I mean, a little They're jealousy. saying, oh, okay, we get it. You're doing better than us, which is never. Or it's a you got it easy thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. A, oh, 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 must be nice to be you then, man, huh? That sounds hey, great. First class, must be nice. Yeah. Must be nice, which is a little, it's a, it's like, I've talked, I've said this a couple of times where I went to, uh, like I went to the Morgan Wallen concert and it was like, uh, we, I just came as a fan. I just like his music. Yeah. And we were, and I went and I was, we were just watching the show. My buddy, Chris had a, uh, a backstage pass and I had to go to the bathroom and he's like, don't, if you don't want to walk all the way back up there, all the way up to the, um, mezzanine or whatever the, uh, and then go to the bathroom up there here, just take my pass, go backstage, go to the bathroom, come back. I went backstage. There's like a, a bunch of people like just this is the middle of the show. Just chat like a bunch of like influencers or like record label people are just like, like, yeah, what are you doing here? Just if you don't want to just what are you doing back here? Just trying to get photos or trying to like be like a like a it's for the gram. Yeah, and I say like my, like I just like being a fan of things. And if somebody else, which my point was, if somebody else was more successful than me, first of all, I don't have any insecurity about other people's success because I feel like I've been blessed to be successful. So that's not, uh, it's not an insecurity of mine. But I go, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, your job is awesome. Congratulations, you make music for a living. You've been awesome. I'm. I love it. And versus like, mm, oh, that guy's successful. Exactly. Like what? What? It's it's a reflection of you. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with. I go, dude. I don't know. I'm great with where I'm at, and I and I love this. Versus like, people come all the time about like, oh, I didn't have like this this access of backstage pass. I only got this one. I go, dude. I, I, I this is well, a you, you situation. It is. There's nothing back here. There's nothing backstage, but it's cool to walk around like, and people, my, I feel like people from that I grew up with that I wouldn't say a lot of them, but some of them will be like, we've talked about this before, but like, well, what time do you go on stage? Worst question. And that means mm -hmm. what? Say well, it. If you go on later, you're closer to headlining. I would assume. Or no, no, no. If, if, if somebody goes, I'll be like, Hey, can I have tickets? Yeah. What time's the show? Dude, look, look it up. Yeah. Look it up. Dude. I went, I went way deeper. No, you're right though. No, you're right. So if somebody goes, "What time do you go on?" Yeah. Meaning, I'll come support you, I guess, but I'm very busy. I'm gonna do the minimum here. But you just, 
I go, Derek's on the show. Kayla, you're going to love the show. Yeah, I always just say that comes, too. Be su- just like it. Or like with me with Morgan. Just go. Like, am I going to be backstage? Or like, just, I like him. I like watching his. We just come. Mm-hmm. And if not, you're always trying to like, again, my, not my high school friends, but like people that knew me from prior. Now, not according to me. We're all humans. We're all valuable. But in some ways, I'm up here. And if they say, hey, what time's the show? Like, can you check on my, is there a parking pass? Can I, uh, yeah. I got to be out of there by a certain time. They're trying to yep. even it a little bit. And they're like, somebody, people that all the time they go, hey, I don't really like follow you, but like someone sent me one of your bits and I just thought it was, I go. Can you not say that any There's different? no need. Yeah. But, but I might do that to people. I don't know, maybe. Hey, I don't really follow you, but like everybody's talking about this bit. So I was like, oh, fine, I'll watch it. I think it's really, I mean, back to you being like fans of other people. That's a really cool trait to have. You should be allowed. Everybody yeah. should be well, allowed that's, to be I mean, a I'm fan. fan. I'm fans of a couple of people, but I'm not, I've never been like a crazy fan. I mean, for sports. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I relate, but it's really cool. You go Morgan Wallen, you go see different artists and you're out there. I am a fan. And, am- and you're being, you're, you're being John the fan. Yes, you're there to be entertained. It, it's I'm like at a Kenny Chesney concert, just in it. Yeah, with everybody. Right. And if you're at Garth Brooks, just go or that's I was right. at the Memphis Grizzly game. I'm not like, hey, is anyone going to see me here? Or like, I'm annoyed to be here or yeah. like, let's get out of here. I'm like, dude, I, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. I want to be here. It's I, unbelievable. I agree. Do we cover everything? Uh, there's one more topic on the docket. Is, it a net, is this a net positive? <laughs> I think I think we're at a net positive. I think this could even push it over the edge. I think it could. Net neutral. What else do we have to discuss? One more thing or we get out of here? Oh, yeah. dude. We, we, you're right because we said we'd discuss this with Derek. Yeah. You can't see the screen. No, you can't. What's the deal with the Android, dude? Oh, man. You know, <laughs> look at do, do, do these people, do they know that I have an iPhone? What did we say? No, no, no. We said we were talking, we were about, talking group about group chats. texts. Yeah. And then when someone with an Android's in it, it messes up for everybody. Because when that Android person likes it, does it say John Chris liked? It gives you a text when the Apple person likes it. Um. Yeah. I don't know what it's like over in this land. Right. Yeah. I mean, what happens on my phone, which you guys won't even imagine. I don't even know if you can wrap your head around. Mm-mm. In a group text, if people send a group text to my Android, I have to download the message. Like it's like down, really? download this message because it's too big. Yeah. So I got to download the message <laughs> and then it'll pop up. A text? A text. I mean, you I have to click a link. I don't have, you know, when you tell people there are Androids out there that are really nice and like I have lots of capabilities. I have yeah, a very yeah. simple Android. Oh, you got an which old is a, Android. I got an old yeah, Android. Okay. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Like if my AA batteries, I got to have them. From, re- uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not true. But okay, That's yeah. not true. But. <laughs> But you what's have crazy the is, 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 of Androids. is is people people get so upset about my Android. I told you what the guy said. I got a message from a guy just yesterday that said John's screen's cracked and he has way better quality photos. Maybe it's time to get rid of your Android. <laughs> and first of all, it's like, hey man, I don't know why are you. Who cares? Like, who cares? My picture, you know what's popular right now is a filter that looks like that you're taking pictures and videos from 1984. Oh, yeah. You know who already has that? <laughs> okay. And, and and so every time I do a little video, it looks like a homemade, you know, thing from 1994. Like you put the filter on it. Yeah. yeah. Like, and and people, from the 1800s. Yeah. But people freak out. I mean, it's like that mountain's just as pretty. Yeah. yeah it's a little Same. blurry. Yeah. But, right. it's out of but here's the thing. I have a I have an iPhone 11. Oh, that my, that, yeah, that my lady got me for Christmas. My lady. But yeah. I'm so scared that that iPhone's going to, that I, I'm going to lose stuff from the transfer to Android to the, the iPhone. iPhone. Yeah. I, I'm just, and I know that's ridiculous, but every time I ask, is they, okay, how would it change, how would an iPhone change my life any more than the pictures? You're just, it's just, just like the people driving the cars next to you. They're driving the in and out of their garage 15 times a day. Yeah. yeah. they. You're like, we. I, I go, you have to get one of these. And you go, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I, I, yeah, exactly. I, I'm good. The only thing is, is that you're right. When people, I, my, my green messages show up, they act like they smell like cigarette smoke. But it, <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know what I mean? It's like, I've never, there's no more judgment. And I, and I did, I mean, the, the <laughs> toughest time to have an Android, and I used to talk about this on stage. Was during COVID, like the peak, because of, of the barcodes for the menus, the QRs. Mm. Yeah, the QRs. I, I, I told, well, I used to tell, I didn't see a menu for two years <laughs> because I, my phone didn't do the QR thing. 
So I'd ask people for a hard menu, and in some places they acted like I was saying COVID's not real. Yeah. But it, it's you want to what? You want to kill grandma? What? Yeah. And it's yeah. just like no, I can't see y'all's menu. Yeah. I, I'm at a sushi joint wondering if they have chicken fingers. I can't see. <laughs> so that was tough. You know. Yeah, but they put. So they, they. I said, if somebody, if someone, if you're an iPhone, yeah, group message, and somebody likes. I was at my parents' house, or we were on family vacation. I somebody sent it was in the family group. There's 22 people in there. Yeah, I just liked, I liked a photo, and then I saw 22 people, and what? I go, oh, I, I called it like what did I call it, group text pollution or something. Yep. I was like, oh, I didn't realize the the amount of work I was putting on every single person. This better be good. Yeah. And that's what you're saying. I mean, you got to download a message. I didn't know I had to do that, but I always send stuff to you and Caleb. Yeah. Was it like that? Yeah. I mean, sometimes you're like, you're like, Derek's not responding. And I'm just sitting here waiting for my dial up. <laughs> I'm like, man, I wonder. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like coming up. I'm like seeing a little bit as, of the picture develop as it comes up. I'm like, there, well, he's got decent pants on. And then, and then it goes up to your shirt and then your head. <laughs> I, I mean, wonder you never get my jokes, dude. You, like me and Caleb are going back and forth, and you're like, and then I come in an hour later, ha yeah. ha 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 ha. I just got it, John. I wanted to be there while it was live so bad, and I couldn't. I couldn't because Enjoy the I, message. Yeah. yeah, I was waiting for it to download. The only thing worse, I guess, if if, if you be that guy with two phones, you don't want to be him. No, I don't nah, want to be two that. phones. Mm -mm. That's you made some poor choices in life. If I you're agree. carrying two phones, you don't want to do that. All right, dude. Well, I feel good about that. How do you feel about that? That was a blast. You got to get to the airport. I got to get to the airport. He all Derek cares about is how he's going to get from the hotel, the, the on Sunday to the airport. Well, with the no car it's and very the experience stressed. with Eric, I get it for exactly. Sure. Yeah. Well, I almost got. I'm gonna tell y'all. One time, I couldn't get an Uber in Toledo to the airport, and I thought it I was gonna, the whole I, weekend. I thought yeah. I was yeah, and I've been scarred the 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 ever since. So if you guys get an Uber at 4 p.m. or like 4 a.m., he'll wake up Saturday morning at 4 a.m. and see the status. Yeah. Of the Ubers. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, man. Well, let me tell yes. you also, let me, <laughs> Sorry. also, here's the thing, too. I, know, dude. <laughs> I, I love, all right, I'm not like a super organized OCD person. And I would like to think that the feeling I get when I get to my gate a couple hours before my flight, it's a warm, fuzzy feeling. Yeah, that I'm going to yeah. get on this flight and go home has to be the same as somebody who's just organized their cabinets. Same type of situation. Same type of thing. It's very fulfilling and nice feeling. There, I'm very relaxed. You're good to go. I'm looking right at the lady and, yeah. and on the screen is actually a flight to a different city because my flight's not up yet. You, that's what you want to be? I would. I, I mean, I don't mind airports. I mean, yeah. uh, I don't mind walking around them. Now, no more than two hours. Yeah. But I like to be there about two hours before my flight. I mean, that's, that's just how I like to do it. Everybody's different, dude. If I get there and it's, I gotta wait. I go. I'm. What am I? Oh, doing let me here? let me tell you. People come in panicking. Yeah. They go. Can I cut in front of you? And you go. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Yeah. I just fills me. It just fills me with joy. <laughs> and I go. Look, look what it's like to be well, late, Teresa. Well. Yeah. Well, and I and I and I watch them. I watch them unravel. And I'm gonna miss my flight. I'm gonna miss my. And I'm like, you are. Yeah. You yeah. are because you, you should have been here an hour yeah. ago. They let they look at you and they go, must I be. I mean, nice. yeah, sure. <laughs> it was a little weird. That's it, baby. On the, on the, it, it, it was a positive, but it was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On, on the net, it's a positive.